Hello guys, this is LVR and today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 franchises or IPs that deserve a Arc System styled fighting game. But before I start with that, there's going to be a couple of honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. The first honorable mention is Final Fantasy. Now this is quite obviously a very popular series with a lot of cool characters, music, stages, and even some old fighting games. Uh, in, with Final Fantasy Dissidia, and I think the Arc System style of graphics would really fit with this franchise. This could turn out into a very cool 2v2 or 3v3 fighting game uh, with all of the elemental assists and summons in my opinion, but the main reason it's not on the list is because, well, there's a lot of uh, Final Fantasy games in development, so I don't think they're gonna make a fighting game, but it would be good to have one. What did you do? Eventually, our goals will align. The second honorable mention is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, this is a series that is quite popular, it has a lot of cool characters, and it even has a old fighting game that is quite popular to this day. And I think the Arc System style would actually quite fit well with this series to make it a reality, but the main reason it's not on the list is because it's a Capcom franchise, and uh, that's basically it. Number 5 Number 5 goes to Digimon. As someone that used to play a lot of Digimon Rumble Arena 2 with friends and family, I think this would make for a very good fighting game. This franchise has a lot of cool characters, it has very cool and iconic music, and it actually has a ton of fans. I am very surprised that there is literally no representation of this franchise in any other fighting game, at least as like a DLC guest character or something. But my main point is that the Arc System style's graphics would actually fit this franchise very nicely, and this would be a very popular fighting game in my opinion. Number 4 Number 4 goes to One Piece. This franchise is one of the top animes of all time, and what's also important about it is that its games actually sell really well. Uh, across the board in total, I think all of the One Piece games have sold around 8.5 million copies, which means it's very popular as a game anyway. And seemingly there's like a One Piece every single year coming out, literally. One Piece also has a ton of godlike characters, which basically means they would never lack any DLC content for this game. Actually, in my opinion, the bigger problem would be to decide which characters to add. And to go along with that, they have some top tier music, and in my opinion, I think some of the stages in this game would be the best looking stages in any fighting game that I ever have seen. Like imagine a flying lamb stage or the grounds where Ace got executed. I think these would be some of the best looking stages in any fighting game in my opinion. The only reason this franchise is not higher up on my list is because there's literally a One Piece game coming out every single year. So that's basically the only reason that I could think of why this shouldn't be a versus game right now. Number 3 Number 3 goes to OG Dragon Ball. Have you ever imagined how cool a Dragon Ball Fighters would be without a super dash, assists, key blast spamming, vanish, dragon rush, auto combos, reflect, and with an actual neutral game? Hey! Now don't get me wrong here, I actually love Dragon Ball Fighters, but think of the pros here. Now first off, there hasn't been a original Dragon Ball game in seemingly forever. It would have cool music, stages, and characters. It would maximally have two Gokus, a almost relevant Yamcha, possibly Chi-Chi, and actually a tournament-oriented 1v1 game that would actually have some neutral game. <laughs> oh god. Number 2 Number 2 goes to Naruto. Now basically everybody wants this one. This franchise has cool characters, stages, music, it actually is very popular and has a history of well-selling fighting games. It basically has the recipe for success. It would sell millions solely based on the fact that it's a versus styled Naruto game. Also considering the lore, it's basically designed to be a 3v3 fighting game, uh, Team 7 shit. And also as I said previously, they have a ton of cool characters, so they would never have a problem of adding DLC to this game. I mean, I would be the one to spam like 4 characters max, my team would look something like Neji Hinata, Rock Lee and Guy only, like 3 out of those 4 characters would be definitely on my team. 
And apart from that, I think that most people would agree that Naruto is the game that deserves a Arxis style fighting game the most. However, the reason why it's not number one on my list is basically because Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 exists, and it's a good fighting game. Number one. Number one goes to Bleach. First off, let's talk about the characters. Now, this franchise has some of the best looking and most diverse characters for a fighting game. We got sexy characters, cool characters, cute characters, edgy characters, tall characters, old characters, and young characters. So there would never be any problem for DLC characters for this game. They could even go the lazy DBFZ route and put in like 6 Ichigos. Next up, let's talk about the music of this franchise. The music is actually the main selling point for me. It has a very nice mix of classical, epic and actually rock music that would make for a very good soundtrack for any fighting game, let alone Bleach. Also I'm gonna put up some examples of the soundtracks that I'm talking about so you can check for yourself right here. Apart from that I also think that the stages would look sick but for me personally I would just like a Lost Notice stage at day and that's basically it. But the main reason why this franchise made it to top 1 instead of all the other ones that I put in this list is because it actually has no real good representation in a fighting game. The others at least have some good games, this one doesn't have any, so that's why this is the number 1 on my list. And that is basically it, this is my top 5 franchises that deserve a Arc System styled fighting game, and if you disagree or have a comment to leave, please leave it down below and subscribe for more. But before you leave, there's a very important ad that I have to play to you, so listen. This information only applies if the suggested game has properly implemented rollback netcode. For more information, ask your local rollback fanatic.